What's up YouTube? I'm Jonathan Forfits and today I'm going to show you how to freshly install the Pluggy mod. Alright, first things first guys. Make sure you have absolutely no version of Diablo 2 on your computer whatsoever. There are tons of guides out there never mentioning this, but by having the current version of Diablo 2 already installed and updated, it won't allow you to properly install the Pluggy mod. Alright, in order for us to get both clients working at the exact same time, you need to install an older version of the game that's compatible with the version of Pluggy you are using. The reason being is you cannot downgrade the latest version of the game Blizzard gives you on their website. After we have an older version of the game installed on our computer, we will eventually update our Diablo 2 client later on through the in-game patcher. So basically all we are doing guys is downloading and installing a downgraded version of the game just so we can get our mod installed properly. So in today's video I'm going to explain how to install the most common version of Pluggy which is version 10. I'm going to walk you guys through a fresh installation instead of attempting to show you how to install a mod with a mod already installed on my computer, which is a bit counterintuitive. Plus I need to install Pluggy on my laptop anyways. So with that being said let's begin. Download both of the files provided in the video description below. Once you've downloaded these files, make a folder on your desktop and call it D2SE. Move the files that you've just downloaded over to the folder you've just created. Once you are done moving the files over, open up your D2SE folder. Inside you want to extract the file name ENUS inside this folder. Once you are done extracting, double click the file you just extracted. Inside you will find one new folder called the same name. The file we want is actually inside here, so double click that folder again and inside the next folder you will find two more files. They will be called D2 and D2 LOD. Double click D2 1.12a and install it like you normally would install Diablo. It will prompt you for your CD keys later on throughout the installation. Once you're done installing D2, move on to installing LOD. Make sure to install the files directly into your D2SE folder. Once you're done installing the game, do not run the game quite just yet. Doing so can mess up the process entirely. At this point you should have an icon on your desktop for Diablo 2. We will get to launching that part of the client later on in the video. From here, go back into your D2SE folder and right click the application called D2SE version 2.2. Select properties, go into compatibility mode and run it in Windows XP Service Pack 2. Once you are done, hit exit, right click the application again and run as administrator. Install Diablo 2 SE directly into your Diablo 2 folder. It should already be selected for that destination already. Once you guys are done installing the Diablo 2 SE client, do not run the program quite just yet. We need to first make sure everything in our Diablo 2 folder is set up to be compatible with the version of SE we are running. In your Diablo SE folder you will see that there was a folder created earlier called Diablo 2. Click it and inside you will find a few applications that we need to run in XP Service Pack 2. The file application should be called D2SE, Game, Diablo 2, and Glide. All four of these applications need to be run in XP Service Pack 2. Now that you've ran all of the applications in Service Pack 2, you are ready to launch Pluggy for the first time. On your desktop you will notice there's a D2SE icon that was created from earlier. Right click the icon and go to properties again. Make sure to run the application in Windows XP Service Pack 2. Exit and right click the application again and run as administrator. The client will launch you into an options menu. For settings we are going to use version 1.13c. Check ddraw, check windowed mode and use pluggy. For select options just leave it on mod. If you guys would like to start using the mod right now, you can either hit start plugin or double clicking the 1.13c. Now if you want to get your Battle.net client working, move on to the next step. On your desktop right click the Diablo 2 icon that was created from earlier. Go into properties, run in Windows XP Service Pack 2. After you've done that right click the icon again and run the program as administrator. At this point Diablo 2 should perform a video test, allow the client to do so. You should get an option to select OK. Once it's done performing the test you should actually be in the client right now. At this point we want to update our client right now. If you've noticed we are actually on version 1.12. We actually want to be on 1.14d. So in order for us to update the client, click on Battle.net and allow the game to patch itself. Once you are done patching it will eventually bring you to a login screen. Now you can sign into an existing account or simply create a new one. To make sure everything got set up correctly, exit the Battle.net client, right click on D2SE, 
Go to Properties again and make sure the client is still being ran in Windows Service Pack 2. At this point, you guys should have both working applications right now. Now, for whatever reason, if your client doesn't seem to want to work, go back through all of the previous steps and change the Windows Service Pack to number 3 instead of number 2. This is going to be different for everyone and it also depends on what version of Windows you guys are running. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comment section below and maybe someone out there might be able to answer them. Well YouTube, I think I'm going to end the video at that. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and pressing the notification button. Once again YouTube, best of luck on magic farming and may the odds ever be in your favor. <coughs> or mine.